Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Tech and welcome to my, I don't know what to call this, but um, nine favorite Pokemon that's being revealed so far in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hold on for a second, this is actually, how many about two, four, six, two, four, six, oh, there's actually eight here, hold up. There we go. That's better. So yeah, welcome to my eight favorites of all the Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon revealed so far. Uh, of course, this is actually really changed when the actual games come out, which is about a month next week. Yeah, a month and five days next week. It sucks, but finally, anyway, I'm going to take it first. But anywho, let's just drop right into this. And See how, how we go. Let's go. Okay, so here we have my two favorite starters of the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, my first two Pokemon, Pokemon I would pick would be Luna and Popplio. I do like Rowlet, but I prefer Litten and Popplio over, over the, out of the three. I am getting both versions, so uh, mainly I am team Flynn because I absolutely love kitties and everything else like that and it's just adorable and it's the one that spoke out to me the most out of the three. I and with Popplio it's just been really performing little seal man. I love this thing. It's just so cute and everything and you can have this uh too wrong with Popplio I mean being mean, it's got a cute little performing little nose and some nice little bubbles and play with bubbles, water bubbles and you can spin them around and like a little performer little thing. And with Lydon it's obviously it's a fire cat. I do love the fire typing and I normally go for like, the water or grass starters but um, I didn't do that first time in X and Y or anything. Um, and then this little was just there. It's just like, oh my god, that's adorable. I need to pick this for a kitty. I don't care what it changed into, but and its second evolution from what we have seen is the most cutest thing. And it like, it's, uh, it's so so nice. I just love it. And I love Poppy's sec uh, middle stage. And it's just like, oh my god, it's like a pop star and everything. Um. Rowlet, as for Rowlet, it is one of my favorites, but it doesn't call out to me like others. Oh, it's, it's cute. It's an owl, and it's cute. I like Dartrex, but um, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely there. It's like the phase of something with Rowlet. And, but yeah, I love those two. Lydon and Papu are in my five, eight, so seven, no, I want to call them. So moving on, we have moving on into our next two. We have Mimikyu and Fikyu. Mimikyu is like the it's like a ghost. It's a ghost type Pokemon who wants to be loved, so disguises itself as a fully handsly drawn Pikachu, like some struggles some machine and like a Halloween costume. If you go in with the which is what you end up if you do it in two minutes, but. Mimikyu is one of the coolest Pokemon I have ever come across and all seen. And it's just what a stupid love. It's got the stick and it's got the sheet hiding its true identity, but it wants to be loved by Pikachu and that's really, really, really cool to me. And it's really cool. And I think if this thing is like in competitive and stuff, it's like a free substitute because it has a uh, disguise which is which breaks after the first turn. So if you take a t hit the first turn, it um, you can easily set up like a nest plot with this thing, a nest plot shadow ball. So and do whatever you need to do because the skies will break after the after you take damage, and you're there. You're probably like plus two right now. By the first after the first turn, so I think Mimikyu will be highly used. 
and everything but I love his design and how it is and just don't touch the stick clip I take it off or you will probably I don't know the thing underneath it will attack you as for Vicky Vault I wasn't too sure on Ruben and Chargebook but then I saw this thing and it's like Chargebook is it's battery and it's really cool. Um, we only had a couple of electric book ties before I chose to leave where um, Govantula, I think this one's it. I love this little thing so it's like a flying, I don't know what to call it, but it's a bug and not that particular little book tie, but they're pretty cool. If this thing did get um, Liberty, I think, I think it does. Um, I'm not too sure what yet, but, um, but, yeah, it get something, um, Vickerball, there we go, Vickerball, yeah, yeah, it does get levitated, it gets levitated, um, which is, which is okay, so it can't be hit by ground type moves or anything. I was hoping this thing would get maybe I think I can't remember what it's, what it's called, but if it gets um, zap time, I don't know, I don't know, kind of ability powers up um, like electric moves. I really don't have a number. Um, Um, I'm really not sure how many ability it is. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm actually looking at it. It. I really don't know what this thing would play again if it didn't have levitate. I really don't know, but I'm kind of glad it does get levitate, but at the same time, I'm really not sure. Um, but I think if we got something other than levitate, it would be pretty, pretty damn really good. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a really high speed set, maybe a really good special attack, or even physical attack. I could see even if uh, Vicky won't be used a lot in VGC, or with maybe Q. To be honest, and it's one of those two Pokemon which kind of go together pretty well in my eyes. But um, that's subject to change. This is like face opinion before the games come out. So um, in a probably later video, I'll plan to do like a top five, top ten alone Pokemon or something. I don't know. But hey, moving on. In the next slot, we have next slot. Two of them. Next we have Lycanroll and Lycanroc and Como Mola. Como Mola, obviously, he's a tree hugging koala, which is adorable as hell, and he loves this thing. It has comatose, which allows it to not be hit by any status moves apart from sleep. <laughs> This thing is amazing just because of what it can do. I'm not sure what it can do, but I love its ability. The fact that it can't be hit by poison, top burn, top run away, free, uh, or even be frozen for that matter. It could just be put to sleep and this thing can get. If it's put to sleep and it has sleep talk, then holy moly, it's gonna do some work. Um, Again, I love its design. It's been one of the, when I first saw this by Koro Koro and then the actual reveal, there wasn't an actual reveal, just a video which showed it. So there wasn't much going for it having the real time, but it was revealed by Koro Koro and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a Pokemon I do adore and probably love, and I really use it in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'll use all the new Pokemon Sun and Moon because I absolutely love them, but these are sort of some of my favorites that have been shown to us so far, like I said, it's out of the video, but Comatose is there for a reason. 
it's just cute. I love what it can do. I just hope he gets some really good stats and, and we can see what this thing can do. If it gets an evolution, I would hopefully, hopefully it becomes like this really cool giant um, sleeping koala. If not, I don't mind a standalone co comatose because standalone Pokemon are really good. They can be pretty damn cool. And yeah, on the other side on Pokemon, we have Lycanroc. Lycanroc obviously has split evolution, so midday form and midnight form. Midnight form being exclusive to Pokemon Moon and midday to Pokemon Sun, obviously. What I do prefer, I actually prefer, I love the midnight form of Lycanroc. Um, just because it's an actual werewolf, like the actual werewolf that you would possibly encounter normally and it's I love his design it's just like one of the things that is like come at me come at me if you want a piece of me like do not come at this thing at night because it will tear you to shreds it would be like it would like kill you or something I don't know but it does all the cool werewolf things that you normally see at night or hello I don't and it keeps his rock typing. I can see it being used competitively somewhat depending what it gets. I know it gets counter as Polly said on the website and Cell Rock, which I really think is exclusive to the midday form. Um Dragon right Slayer. I think this these two probably feel pretty damn good, but overall the midday form it's it's okay. It gets the prime of like Excel Rock, etc. which is pretty pretty cool coming pretty fast, this thing will be fast, I hope it's like, I hope what they do with Lycan Rock is one would be like this fast special sweeper and this will be like a fast physical sweeper, also open defensively, I really don't know but these two are definitely one of my favourite, two of the favourite Pokemon that had been given to us, or revealed to us in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I think that's it. That's all I can really say about them, to be honest. Um, apart from that, this is one of them. I just love the midnight form. So, moving on to our last Pokemon. So, last but not least, but we have Oricorio. Oricorio is a great bird which has different types and different appearances, but depending where you catch an Ocarina in the whole Alola region. They each share the move Rev Revelation Dance, which changes based on their type, and both and carries the ability Dance, which copies your dancing moves like D Dance, Loon, I think you have Luna Dance, I'm not sure, L uh, D Dance, um, what else is that? Sword Dance, etc. And all those good, good moves, which is pretty cool. Um, copying from Dance. I hope not, because that would take it out. <coughs> but yeah, if you have, if you're going to set up like Sword Dance and you have Uncle on the field, it will copy your stats, which I do hope it copies um, Ally Pokemon. If it does that, it's kind of a little bit broken for the rules, but it's going to work. Oh, wow. But yeah, this each this Pokemon has fire, glass, electric, and ghost. So, which is pretty damn cool. And they are all flying types. So, fire, electric, fire, 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 fire like flying electric, and flying fairy. One of my flying ghost, I believe. But yeah, Oricor is one of my favorite Pokemon out there so far. There's a whole load of, of Pokemon in a Lola that I love and um, and everything. But it's one of those things where you can love it or hate it, and I love it so much. Favorites out there that you 
hopefully have, have seen. Um, yeah, so I believe that's actually the end of this top eight. Might be my favorite people. So yeah, that was my eight favorite little Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I could have done more, but it don't, this list could have gone on forever. Like I said, it's out of the video. It's just a summary of some of the Pokemon I like a lot in Alola. There's a million of the Pokemon I want to put in this list, but I narrowed it down to these eight or seven or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I would do more of these in the future. I'm not too sure if I when but probably be after Pokemon Sun and Moon or so but yeah if there's any other top five um that you like me to do or top ten so also be sure to leave a comment in the description below or just tweet me on Twitter and I'll see what I can put together I think normally it's where I get all my video ideas or have to be a poll or so which like for this one it was so yeah, this concludes this video before it gets on to like 20 minutes. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna end up here. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Leave a comment if you wish, and follow us on Twitter and all that junk. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!